Number 15. This video reportedly comes from somewhere in Siberia. Two friends have a concerned conversation and walk to a tree. Buried in the snow is a tiny humanoid creature that doesn't look to be of this world. Try to translate what they are saying if you can, and maybe we can figure out if this is fake or real. <laughs> The color and texture of this discovery is convincing. It appears to be missing a leg as well. If this is a prop, then it looks very realistic. If this is real, who knows how long it's been left out here, or what horrors it could bring. Number 14. Two friends hear something large running across the roof of their home, so one grabs a camera and bravely heads into the night. He scans the rooftop with his flashlight and the beam floats across the oversized pink head of a wild creature that has no fur. Wait a minute. Hey! He climbs onto the roof to get a better look at the creature, but when he gets up there, it's gone. Little does he know that it is stalking him from an unseen vantage point the entire time. Let it go. The crouching humanoid looks to be half the size of a normal person. It regards him with cold, beady eyes that are low and close together like those of a wild animal. Zoom in and you'll see that this is either CGI or a real creature. The skin is way too tight to be a mask. Many say that this is the Rake, a pale, mythological creature that attacks without warning. Let me know what you think this is, and if this person was moments away from being a goner. A YouTuber named David Rebordeo hears noises coming from an attic and decides to go up and investigate for himself. Here you can see they are both far away from the source of the noise, and they're not pretending to hear something. <laughs> David videos the upstairs for a while and doesn't come across much. He passes the camera and starts to climb down the ladder. All of the sudden, the equipment makes a buzzing sound not found in any other part of the video. That's when the noisemaker reveals itself and nearly makes physical contact. <laughs> it's hard to say if this was a person or some sort of ghostly ghoul. The buzzing noise makes me think that this was a paranormal disturbance, but I guess this could have been CGI, so let me know what you think it was. Number 13. This Chicago police body cam shows multiple officers rushing to save a man and his dog from freezing in Lake Michigan. From a distance, it looks like the distressed person is trapped on a snowbank at first. Sir, come on over here. But as the officer approaches, you can see the person is actually waist deep in freezing waters and ready to go under. The officers quickly extend a rescue cord for him to tie onto, and they yank him to safety with one strong pull. Thankfully, they are able to do the same with the dog as well. I'm guessing that he was walking his dog along the edge of the water for a nicer view when the snow gave way. The cold water must have left him practically frozen from the waist down and unable to climb out. Let me know if you agree whether or not that's what probably happened. Number 12. A creepy duo stomps up the steps of a bank on Washington Street in Halliston, Massachusetts. Both draw from hidden pockets as they approach the teller. If you happen to live around the Boston area and know anyone who has ever worn the masks shown here, then you might be able to help the FBI solve this case, which occurred in May of 2018 and has yet to be solved. A cash reward of $10,000 will be given to anyone who can supply the FBI with solid leads. FBI investigators are offering a $10,000 reward for information leading to this man being taken into police custody due to an incident in a bank lobby in Somerville, Massachusetts. It seems to me like when he first enters, that he is full of adrenaline and ready to take out anyone in his way, without any hesitation or regrets. He checks all of the nearby rooms and demands money from a teller. He also tried to take out a security guard but fortunately misses. The authorities have been searching for this man ever since. Number 11. 
A YouTuber named Shadow the Wolf is with his friend when they see a complete stranger walking up to them without saying a word. Oh my god. He's coming closer. Oh my god. Oh Shut my the f god. window. They quickly run upstairs and lock the door as the silent figure moves closer. <laughs> I have little doubt that this video is real because they are just some kids and this is clearly a full grown man. They realize he is trying to get in through the garage and quickly lock the basement door. I'm not sure if this is some random person or a fan, but with over 19,000 subscribers, I think it's possible that this could have been one of them. A large white creature has been constantly creeping around the yard of a YouTuber named Sans for a long time now and no one knows what it is. The latest sighting happens during broad daylight and his camera is able to pick up more detail than ever before. You can see here that the creature is not very big, roughly around the same size of a nearby dog, and judging from this dog's behavior, I'd say this is clearly a real creature and not one of his friends wearing a costume. <laughs> if you need more proof that this isn't a person, watch how it scratches its head with its foot at a weird angle. No human would be able to kick that fast. I would say that this is a rabbit, but I don't really see any ears and the legs look distinctly human when it walks. Tell me what animal you think this is. Until I get a better explanation, I will continue thinking that this is probably a humanoid of some kind. Number 10 A family is crossing the border from Texas into Mexico when this SUV gets on their tail and shines a light at them in a ploy to pull them over that they didn't fall for. The family knows this vehicle belongs to a group of outlaws who collect money from any American tourist unlucky enough to cross their path, so they speed back to the border with the SUV close behind. They make it back to safety, but somewhere along the way, they have this strange encounter that everyone was too distraught to notice at the time. Maybe the grainy dash cam video is to blame, but as one commenter points out, it almost looks like this dog literally teleports into the shot at 29 seconds. At 27 seconds, you can see both streets are empty, except for a man and his bike, and then two seconds later, this dog appears out of nowhere and doesn't come into focus until it's halfway across the street. I guess it could have emerged from the street corner, which was hidden by the truck in front, but however you want to look at it, you may never expect for a car chase in Mexico to end with a possibly teleporting dog. Number 9. A YouTuber named Stromedy continues to catch bizarre encounters on his drone. This time he drives out 3 hours to a random field to see what's out there. He and his friend Ashton are expecting to find bears, but instead they chance upon a man walking all by himself who immediately breaks into a run through the snow upon being spotted. They follow him for over a minute while he tries to hide, then in an unexpected twist, he blasts the drone out of the sky. I can even hear it. How far away is that? Yo, Dude, I think he hit it. Yo, he just he hit, hit the drone. It, bro. Dude, what it, the- It's yo. black. It just went black. Guys, the screen just went black. The muzzle fire looks like it could be special effects, but let me know what you think. Stromedy believes that this man was trespassing and took out their drone to avoid getting followed and reported to police. If this is real, then they most likely will not be able to catch him because his face is fully covered and they never find his car or his hideout. Number 8. A YouTuber named Jmans Vlogs 356 was watching a movie. When he hears a noise coming from the basement, he notices that the door, which is normally locked, has somehow become unlocked in the past few minutes. Thinking fast, Jay grabs a large hammer and braces himself for the worse. Soon after, something stops him before he even gets a chance to go down the steps. He claims to have seen a face, and his camera does pick up what could be the head of a tall man staring back at him. According to the description for this video, the police were called and the man was arrested, though there is no proof to back up this story aside from this video evidence. A YouTuber named 23rd SAS is messing around with his phone and recording his house, then the video goes from pretty goofy to terrifying in a matter of seconds. This is my mommy's room. This is downstairs. Oh my. 
I guess this could be fake and the shadow is just one of his friends, but as many people in the comments section have pointed out, there's something about his reaction that seems realistic. A YouTuber named Cup of Mocha is in the middle of making a video when she realizes she is no longer by herself at home. What the f This door is not supposed to be open. The video goes from light and playful to an emergency situation after she sees the busted basement door. I personally would have called the police at this point, but Cup of Mocha decides to stay. Watch this part and tell me if you think she should have ran upstairs or kept recording. I'm just gonna film this just in case, like, the police find it or something. But that's f what the is going on. She goes from room to room, half expecting to get jumped by some crazed intruder at any moment. She eventually tiptoes into a large laundry room with many hiding spots. It looks all clear until this happens next. Literally no one here. Oh my! According to Cup of Mocha, someone bumps her from behind and she drops her camera as they run away. I wasn't sure if this was real or not, but over one year later, she still appears to be having problems with this obsessed fan. Oh my god. Monique, 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 we need to go. Come here. What? She sounds really scared here. But I would like to know if you think she is truly in danger or just making a fictional series. Number 7. Brittany Drexel is on vacation at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. A CCTV video from 2009 shows her walking into a hotel and looking to the right. It's the last time anybody has ever seen her. I'm not sure how soon she disappeared after this video was recorded, but I'm wondering if she was possibly looking at somebody approaching her. We'll never know what happened in the moments after unless a witness steps forward. The FBI has declared that she was probably taken by someone, but they have no leads to this day and they have never recovered her over 10 years later. Hopefully a $25,000 reward can change that and bring some closure to her poor family. Number 6. A group of ghost hunters are exploring a notoriously haunted retirement home in Ohio at 1 a.m. when they manage to find something strange and unsettling. Enter the bathroom. Here it is again at half speed. One of the ghost hunters barely manages to catch this fleeting shadow while turning around. The room to the right is completely empty and nobody is inside, plus everybody else is in a different section of the house. It doesn't look like the camera is simply adjusting to different lighting conditions, so there really is absolutely no reason for a shadow to be on the right side of the screen like that. To me, it looks like something is possibly making a quick escape. Um, okay, so I'm in an abandoned house and there are like Blair Witch things hanging up here and I'm going up here 100%. Okay. A YouTuber named Commander Holly came across this strange cottage while hiking with her aunt in Ireland. The first floor is mostly just crumbling stone architecture, but Commander Holly looks up and sees strange ornaments hanging in the attic. At the top of a worn ladder, she finds an entire room full of things used for strange rituals and various incantations. So here's the circle we found. I wish this was a joke, but it's not. There's like a an amazing like triangle above it and another one. In the center of the room is a hanging decoration with faded pictures of various saints and in the corner is a book of pure black magic. Commander Holly eagerly flips through its pages and decides to take it home to study but I'm not so sure if that's a good idea. Let me know if you would have done the same or if you would leave it be. After all, who knows what secrets are inside or who may come looking for it. Number 5. A YouTuber named Tracy is recording a video at the Headingham Castle in England while on vacation with her husband. The voices and footsteps of other visitors easily carry throughout the castle, but it's just good acoustics and they are not nearly as close as they sound. Anyway, look what happens while Tracy is standing motionless next to her husband in a large room all by themselves. Sure, Buffy, it's just sort of shadow across the wall. 
A shadow clearly passes across the wall in front of them, but as Tracy pans the room, you can see that no one else is present. None of the windows or entrances completely line up, yet the shadow looks very human in nature and appears to be coming from directly behind them. Samuel Porter lives near an abandoned house that he wants to explore, so he and his friends take a short walk and soon find themselves standing outside of its gnarled wooden door. Someone has gone to great lengths to keep trespassers away. The door is locked and the window they get in through is covered in barbed wire. The inside of the old cottage is filthy and collapsing. Large sections of the floor have been eaten away, but they curiously press on. Samuel Porter pokes his head through a hole in the ceiling to see what's on the second floor, a decision he will remember forever. The first thing he notices are two sticks that have been formed into a hanging cross for some reason. <laughs> then to the left he sees the knotted rope. I did notice one thing about this creepy scenario. If this is an actual noose meant for hanging purposes, then it looks to be set the wrong height for someone to use on themselves. I'm curious to find out what you think happened in this room. To me, it unfortunately looks pretty obvious. Number 4. When a snowstorm blows over the San Luis Valley, it's up to a YouTube channel called Colorado Gators to save the farm. As their name suggests, these outdoors men are the only ones willing to risk their lives to save frozen alligator livestock. After searching for a while, one of them finally comes across a frozen gator with its nose still sticking out of the ice. Now all they need to do is dig it out and move it to warmer waters, using their bare hands of course. Keep in mind the creature is only slowed down and not completely frozen. I am amazed at how calm he remains the entire time feeling around in the water for an alligator he can't even see. Watch this part and tell me if you would be brave enough to get this close. Frozen or not, I don't think I would want anything to do with this situation. Number 3. You know it's going to be a good video when the license plate has been covered up and check out the dual exhaust. Those pipes look like the perfect place for some snakes to hide. Keep your eyes on them because you're about to see something crazy. Okay, so that was a bit of misdirection, but you have to admit you did see something crazy, and I bet you didn't guess getting run over was how this video ends, and neither did the poor person recording. This must have been at a car rally based on the crowd. I guess the driver was so excited being the center of attention that he didn't check his mirrors before flying into reverse. I really hope they are alright, but I don't see how that's possible, considering how fast this souped up SUV was moving. Number 2. A YouTuber named Guyver Explorer is exploring an abandoned mine that looks like it's in very rough shape. As he walks further and further down the creepy tunnel, he finds that the further he goes, not only is it more flooded, but there's less and less oxygen. Luckily, Guyver has an oxygen meter which alerts him the oxygen is too low and he must turn around. If not for this device, he could have easily never gotten out of this forbidden mine. A YouTuber named Dark Exploration Films is checking out an old abandoned police station in New York City to see what he can find. He makes his way through some old dark service tunnels and finally comes out on the other side. The police station starts off as a series of twisting hallways filled with old electronics, paper documents, and various forms of evidence. As Dark Exploration Films goes deeper, he finds a lonely medical wing filled with abandoned beds. The walls look particularly clean until he comes into a final room that looks absolutely wrecked. Guys. I have no idea what we just walked into, but it's clear it's a medical room. On the floor, he finds a red stain that he thinks is absolutely real, and based on the realistic splatter pattern, I tend to agree. He steps over it and finds one last scary item, a bright orange biohazard container with the lid open. The container is pretty much empty, but it doesn't exactly look clean. 
Hopefully the mysterious white powdery substance inside is just chipped paint flakes and not something that is dangerous to inhale. I wish him the best, but I hope there's more info on what was in that container. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because we upload a new scary video every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. A YouTuber called Le Chemino climbs to the top of an insanely high tower in search of adventure and adrenaline. They reach such high altitudes that a thick blanket of fog is waiting for them at the top. Little did they know that something else completely different was waiting for them at the bottom. The police chase the group on foot and they barely get away using the rooftops. Notice how they carefully run across the last, thin section of the roof before jumping to freedom. It would have been terrible to have fallen through here and have to go to the hospital, especially after just being 650 feet in the air. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!